at the time I am recording this, my video should have already uploaded with my first impressions of the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero newest patch. And I wanted to make sure I put this out. You know, we got to do clickbait and stuff on YouTube. That's just how it works, right? The patch overall is good. Okay, overall is good. But personally for me, one of the things they changed was a bis, uh, 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 big dislike for me that kind of ruins the game for me in the combat system for me and that was they made z dragon dash take two key bars now instead of one so now when it comes to rushing your opponents anyone that plays plays high tier rank battles in in s and z people and stuff um freaking you usually only have two key bars on you right and the z dragon rush in this game is easy to counter with so when you know your opponent gonna do it to you it's easy to just sidestep out the way sway over and key blast them or you may the the way the dragon z dragon dash work when you drag that behind somebody it's easy to get hit and then the other person they just spamming the perception but they'll super count they're not super count they're freaking sonic sway you um or normal super perception you or worse they'll just get a super counter roll so like for for the Z, the Z Dragon Rush, for it to not confirm a backshot combo on your opponent, for them to make it two key bars is ridiculous. And now it's like, it's very hard to approach your opponent in this game like you used to be able to mix people. Now it's like you're working your ass off to push your opponent and it's better to play defensively in this game. It was already better to play defensively, but now it's even worse in this game now it's more it caters more to playing defensively and the new movement tech they add in the game it's decent it's decent but i don't think it's a good replacement for the z dragon rush because the speed of the new movement tech is like it's very predictable very easy to see it coming so most people they just already ready to sway or block it or perception it um can you mix your opponent when you start learning some gimmicks to it the new movement yes but the mo new movement basically just lets you close the distance and then you're just still stuck in neutral it's not like oh you get a hit off your opponent at the right time with it now it's like okay my opponent far away let me close the distance i'm back in neutral uh zoning with them and now it's like okay now we're finna play you know the games of footsie who gonna sat who, who gonna who gonna ruin they, they sidestep first for the other opponent to swing and get the the back shots on them or the first hit in or stuff like that so the new movement mostly like just to close distance to get back in neutral um and it seems like now because of the z dragon rush taking so much key it seems like it's a force a forced way to make your opponent not be able to add pressure on you for you to get your easy instant burst off instant uh spark off or or regeneration off or charge up to the max key and stuff so i don't like it i don't like it I, I i need more offensive tactics in this game it seems like this game got less offensive tactics now just from that change alone right um but i don't want people thinking just because i dislike that the whole patch is just trash the patch has his good notes ryan put up a tweet on twitter asking people what's the best patch changes and i just want to go over them a little bit um one thing i can 100 percent confirm there's less cheese cheese in the game for right now okay the reason why i say for right now people think just because the past knows they're not trying the old stuff that was in the game already but i can 100 percent confirm with you guys the old cheeses are still in the game it's, it didn't change much um yeah now you can deflect when someone throwing keys key blasts at you but key blasts are still very oppressive and lock your opponent down and you can still get chip damage in if you know how to rally when it comes to your key blast patterns when it comes to switching between rush key blasts to charge key blasts uh charge key blasts and stuff and still forcing your opponent into a state where they can't block so you get your move off throw a couple key blasts in your super attack so the cheese is still there after image strike is still good the 10 seconds are still long Trying to get a perception off on a Super Vegito using it at the image strike. It's not as easy as you think because now that they know that a perception would cancel them out, they sidestep a lot more. Sidestep got buffed in this game. So sidestep is like the uh, real uh, strong meta now when it comes to in, in close fighting. It was already stronger in fights, but now if they added more invisibility frames on it, it's very important. That's a lot. You only see that a lot now in the game now that... You can't just Z dash on your opponent. It's a lot of infighting now and throwing hands close up. 
which some people can love, some people may dislike. Me, I'm kind of neutral about it. But yeah. Um. So first good thing about the patch is it's quality of life. They add a lot of quality of life with the character select screen and uh, character textures in the game. Like Super Saiyan 3, Goku looks better. Um, freaking the the color tone they add on Super Saiyan Gogeta from the movie is better. Uh, Broly unique grab on Goku got better with the actual from the movie the actual face Goku made when he did that throw on him. So they did a lot of quality of life of like fan service in the game, which is very good. Right here, this person showing a slight animation change doing the combos. It's like it's just like the old BT3 uh, series and even Raging Blast where when you did the air combo on somebody, um, they'll do a close up when you kick them in the air. You can change that. You can all go to the camera settings and change it back to the original. They put everybody in a new camera setting, but you all go back to the old original if you don't like the whole close up camera they got now. Um, what else people saying? Uh, this person talking about there's a glitch. There's a new glitch. <laughs> when there's a new patch, there's a new glitch. When there's a new patch, there's a new glitch. So let's see what this person talking about. It's a new glitch in the game. But what the clip is showing, when you go mass key, when you go mass key with um anybody, you know that little small animation point when the bar go full, you can activate a, a, a status move, whether it's like Sand Spear or something like that. You can activate that at the exact same time your character hit max sparking, which would trigger a, a, a movie animation. So you're not no longer vulnerable and you get the buff for your uh, ultimate move to do more damage. So he did all I need is five seconds with Super Saiyan 4 Goku when he went max power. And oh my God, I'm just now noticing they gave Goku Super Saiyan 4 a major buff with the I need all I need is five seconds, which is amazing because it only stays on five seconds. They got this man's strength going up by eight. His melee attacks go up by eight. His um his beams go back go up by eight, and his skill stops go up by eight. That's ridiculous. Did the person use his O in this video? He does, and he boosted. it. How much is this finna do? How much is this finna do? This Dragon Fist. Cause that's an amazing tech too. Go max T and then pop five seconds so you can't get hit. How much this do? 31,000? That did 31,000? That's three health bars. Oh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku may be the move. Super Saiyan 4 Goku in 5 seconds may be the move. Now, can you actually get the old off within that 5 seconds? Depending on you as a skilled player. A skilled player. But, uh, that's crazy. Now, now when Goku pop 5 seconds, he can get a 31,000. Oh, oh, that's wild. That's wild. That's 3 health bars. That'll kill any normal character that got 3 health bars. It'll, it'll, it'll make the person that got a fusion, they'll probably die too. But at the point in that match, they should have, they should have 3 health bars. But that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, of course, the best change in the game is the the new update with the Vantage Wars, which is amazing. Y'all see here, I even did it in my video. Best change in the game. I love the Vantage War change. Now you go against people, you know who's actually good at the game, who's not good at the game, and it goes by very quick. And, and because of the key change on the Z Dragon Dash, you can really take advantage of your opponent now, because after they waste all the key, from doing the Venice War and they lose, they give you ample much time, ample time to pop your instant spark or charge up, and they can't do nothing about it to rush back in because they don't have enough key. They gotta charge up to get two key, and they try to throw key blasts at you. They still put themselves at a disadvantage because they they stay in a low key while you trying to charge up and just deflect their key blasts. So you really can take advantage and punish your opponent with this. So good. Again, I dislike the Dragon Z Dragon Dash change. But now you can take advantage of it a lot now against your opponents. You can take advantage of it a lot. So, you know, I don't like it, but it's in the game. Unless they revert it, which I hope they do. But unless they revert it, you just adapt and take advantage of it. So now that you know people got to have two key bars to be able to put up and dash to you, you, you can take a lot of advantage of it now. A lot of advantage. Uh, which make dashing, ascending, and descending very broken in this game now. When it comes to somebody going instant sparking. It's very important now because that's the best way to run away from them in the instant sparking. I still think ascending and descending this game is too oppressive. I had a Vegeta player do it on me today when I went instant sparking. All they did was kept going up and down, and it's really hard to track them down. You, you can dash at them, they still gonna go past you and stuff. 
you can try you can't throw key blasts at them because they, they just in their dragon state whatever dragon rush state so it just bounce off of them um you can't blast at them because if you blast them they get more away at the last minute so i i still think ascending and descending the game is still very busted and they need to do something about it you should be able to track and uh catch your opponent yeah i still think it's very corny but i don't know how they can actually adjust that to make it a little bit more balanced i don't know what they can do slow down oats in my video i showed off the slow down oat as well i feel like they slowed down the speed of the oats a little too much i think they tuned it down a little too much yeah i i did my supernova with cooler and that blast was going so slow traveling to him i was like bro anybody can dodge that maybe it got more tracking maybe someone tried to run away from it because it's going slower it's easier to track somebody but it's way slower now easy to dodge and vanish i think it was a little too toned down they slowed down the oats personally but some may pe some people may like that but yeah I think it's tuned down a little too much, but it is what it, it needs to be tuned down, but I think it got tuned down a little too much. Presets with the character transformation and stuff and presetting your team for team DP. This is what I was talking about the Super Saiyan 3 Goku um, update. The top one's the old one, the new one's the bottom one. He looks way better now in Super Saiyan 3. A lot better, a lot better he looks better, man. Um, when it comes to the key blasts in the game, um, it's still there. The key blast is still there. Um, at the image strike is still good. Um, yeah, I don't think this patch changed too much. I think the same issues are still in the game with kind of rage quitting, super counters being too easy, you know, but baby step, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. I just hope the next patch they deal with super counters more. Um, they try to touch up on the dragon ascend and dcn situation could people still spam that to stall and all the type of stuff so i hope they touch on that as well i hope they revert the dragon the z dragon rush uh nerf they did because i think it just got awful um the fights are more slowed down now because of that change with the key resources and stuff now um people spam it instant spark um, it's not as bad as it used to be, but it can still be spammed. Um, I went, I literally used my instant spark today with uh, Ocean State Goku. I had six key stocks, I popped it, um, which costs four now. But then, as long as you waste time and you're sparking and fight your opponent, by the, before your sparking returns off, you have enough time to get another instant spark by the time you use your ult. I used my ult, I had another instant spark after I used my ult. I killed my opponent with that ultimate move, so it didn't matter. But I was able to pop instant spark again once I did my ult on my opponent. So like, I wouldn't say the cheese is gone. You just gotta la you just gotta waste more time in your spark instead of just using your ultimate immediately. Waste more time, and you'll be able to get away with it. Um, but the game breaking patch. When there's a patch, there are extra bugs. When there's a patch, there's bugs. I'm not gonna hold this on them, but I feel like this need to be spoken about right now so the word can get out there so that freaking you know it can get changed immediately we don't need this thing in the game for like a week or two or even a month this need to be changed immediately this is a great a game breaking bug it happens man i give them benefit of doubt if they can change within two days or something but if they let this stay for like a week or something yeah there's no saving this game at that point this is a very game breaking game so uh, shout out to Minotaur's Flash. Found the bug in the game. Where basically, in the game, he, he shows in his video, just to you know give a gist of it. He shows in his video that, hold on, hold on, make sure I, I re-angle my video for y'all. You want to say it? All right, so what he says in his video and shows is, in Team DP, he's showing the health bars of his characters. They beating up, Krillin beating up and everything, right? Krillin don't Tr Krillin got like probably one bar of health. When he changed to Krillin in this video, this is the bug team DP right now. For some reason, when he changed to Krillin, he has full health. Game breaking. He even showed when he, even if you don't swap to your character, he had everybody had lower health. None of these characters got full health. But when he died with Cyberman, when he dies with Cyberman in this clip. They end up having full health. Hold on, hold on. Cyberman dies. Right, right, right. Goku comes in with full health. 
like the match reset or something. He lose all his skill gauges too. His Goku don't have no skill gauges from when he was already in the match. So the, your character dies. Your your characters in the back seat they getting treated like the whole match got reset and they getting their full health bar and stuff back. And it don't just work with changing your characters either. It also works with transformations. So he shows another moment where he's finna kill a Super Saiyan Gohan and then Super Saiyan Gohan transforms to Super Saiyan 2 and when he transforms Super Saiyan 2 he gets his full health back. This is only happening inside Team DP right now as far as I know of. This didn't happen when I was playing um, single rank I don't believe. There was a Goku player that kept transforming on me. I can check. I can check right now if he's getting his health back. I wasn't paying too much, too much to it because I didn't. Uh, I didn't think this was in the game. But yeah, in Team DP right now, if you transform or swap characters, your character that you transform with or you swap to is gaining they they full health back right now. They gaining their full health back right now, and it's game breaking. So. I, I I recommend you guys if, if you're trying to enjoy Team DP right now, I highly recommend stay away from it until the game devs actually fix it. Who knows when they'll actually fix it? I can't give you a date. I can't give you a date. I can't tell you a time frame. Let's just try to spread this news around and hopefully the game devs see this, see this immediately. But as far as I know of, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm looking at my other video. As far as I know of, it's only happening in Team DP right now. So hopefully it gets fixed because this is game breaking. There are game breaks. That game breaks comes out. There are game breaking bugs that come out a lot for other games when a new patch comes out. People find them. This right here, I do want to say it's inexcusable though. Y'all said in y'all patch that y'all wanted to nerf character recovery when it comes to swapping inside Team DP when it comes to their health. How you nerfing the effects of character recovery without game testing it? So the fact that this bug is in the game without a game tester noticing this before the patch rolled out is kind of crazy to me. This just lets me know they didn't test it when they changed it in the coding. They just threw this mug out there and just assumed it worked without actually testing it to see if it worked. So yeah, it's kind. This bug right here is kind of inexcusable. But like I said, a new patch that comes out for a game, there's always a bug or two in the game sometimes there's a great it's a game breaking bug you know hopefully they notice this immediately from people and they immediately fix it i don't want to say disable team dp and rank until they fix it this is something they got to fix within a day or two because this is game breaking and worse the whole team dp experience uh but yeah spread this news around let me know how y'all feel about the new patch i think the uh new patch is I wouldn't say it fixed the game. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I say it's it's a step in the right direction. Um, I know a lot of people gassing it up. I say the patch is kind of mid. Um, I feel like it didn't touch the main issues in the game. My note, what I noticed with the, the the new patch so far is there's a lot more lag online. As y'all seen in my video, I uploaded. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of moments where the game just freezes while you're online for some reason. Was not happening before the patch, but that's happening now. Um, so. Yeah, matches are seems like they they lagging a little bit much more. Um, it didn't take me a long time to find a match, so that's good. It seems like they fixed that issue for me finally. Um, combos are still dropping. It sucks. Combos are still dropping. They need to get fixed. Combos are still dropping, and they're still having input issues online when it comes to putting your inputs in the game not registering them. So, yeah, combos dropping and input issues still a problem in the game that need to be fixed. Super counters, they still got to get touched on because you can just mash it out. It needed, it needed to have more skill to it. Um, Rage quitters, they still in the game. Still rampant. Need to be dealt with. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think everything else seemed like it was tuned in a good a good manner. So key blasts, still a problem. I don't think it was that big of an issue. After image strike, still strong. Um... I think 10 seconds still a lot. They probably should have dropped it down to like six or seven seconds, honestly. Um, but but yeah, because they didn't even increase the the amount of skill stock you need for at the strike. So yeah, it's still still a still a problem, still a problem. I still I, I it, literally in my video, check it out. I went against the Vegeta player. That's all he did. He all he did was spam at the image strike the whole fight. I fought against him. He he got it literally like like at least four times against me in that whole match, four or five times. So like it's still it's still strong. Um, 
yeah, there's still a lot of changes in this game. Like I said, key blast combo is still strong. Super counter still strong. Um, rage quitting. There's still a lot of stuff in the game. Combo drops. Being able to Sonic Sway while you're getting beat up on makes no sense to me. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of things in this game that still like need to be tuned and and, and looked at because it kind of ruined the fighting experience. I hate when my combos drop. I hate when I'm beating up on somebody and they somehow still able to super Sonic Sway and Perception when I'm beating up on them clearly. Um, the Z Dragon Dash hate it the way it works it need to be a little bit more it need to extend your combo it shouldn't drop in the middle of a hit it makes no sense to me there's a lot there's a lot still that need to be fixed in this game and people are still blocking in uh combos when you in the middle of your combo doing your rush attack chains so yeah um still a lot of stuff you need to be worked on i'm not gonna say this fixed the game but it is the step in the right direction anyway love you guys appreciate you guys always until next time stay up